Mueller. It's kind of a strange book, but it's relaxing. It's called, What Are You Waiting For? Listen to her search. Deep down, children are adults. We are already, we all really do want certainty. We want to know what's going to happen. Next, how about you? We like to know, wouldn't we? I always wanted a blueprint, but God never gave that to me. <laughs> we want to know how life will turn out. We desire consistency and routine. We crave the comfort that comes from the familiar. We incessantly search for answers. That's our flesh. But God says he's given us hope and a faith. And he said, so that by these two unchangeable things, his promise and his oath, which it is impossible for God to ever prove false or deceive us, we who have fled to him for refuge might have mighty and dwelling strength and strong encouragement to grasp hold fast the hope appointed for us and set before us. Hold fast to the hope of salvation. We have this hope by two unchangeable things. Let's talk about that for a minute. What are these unchangeable things? Because God wanted to guarantee his promise to Abraham, he gave an oath about it. And it was a rock solid guarantee. And because his word cannot change, the promise is likewise unchangeable. Because God does not change. He is not a man that he would lie. That's who God is. That's who God is. We've got to get this. We've got to know who God is. It was impossible for God to cease to be himself. It is utterly inconsistent with his nature. He is a God who is faithful and true, and he does not lie. He does not manipulate. He does not deceive or mislead us. What he says is true, and it will come to pass. He is incapable of deception or speaking against his mind. The eternal one of Israel does not lie or change his mind, for he is not man who changes his mind. 1 Samuel 15, 29. By God's promise and his oath, it is impossible for him to ever prove false or deceive us. Now that's pretty powerful, isn't it? That's, so what else does he say? Now we have this hope. What is this hope? It's a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul. Sure, that word sure means I'm certain. I'm guaranteed that it's going to happen. That's how sure it is. It cannot slip. It cannot break down under whoever steps out upon it. A hope that reaches farther and enters into the very certainty of the presence within the veil. We'll talk about that in a minute. Notice how now we have this hope. Not ten years from now. Not next week. I have hope now. You have hope now. We all have hope. 